we have the ABCDs and how, and you guys, um, meaning you, Dr. Alkoff and Bob Freeman, uh, you guys were also instrumental in coming up with some of the instructional card and, and pamphlets about self-exam. Is that right? Yeah, we did. And, and that was actually uh, at the same time, um, Bob had a house, it was in the winter, and Bob had a house out in Long Island on the beach. And Alan, Bob and I spent the weekend and we were trying to come up with simple ways to do skin self-examination. And this, the idea really came from breast self-examination that the women are trained to do on a regular basis and feel their breasts and feel for lumps and things of that sort. So we wanted to see if we could do something that was analogous to that for skin self-examination. And we came up with a 10-step method that was also published that same issue of CA in 1985 that was designed to look at every part of your body, including a double mirror to put a mirror in the front and a mirror behind you in various ways to uh, try to get the back and everything with it. It's also much easier if you have a partner helping you doing that, looking at some of the stuff. But Why don't you walk us through, and you know, I want to hear from the originator of this, how to do self-exam. How do you recommend to do self-exam to your patients right now, basically? Well, you know, we have that, uh, we, we gave this to the Skin Cancer Foundation and the Academy and, um, uh, they have those uh, bookmarks that have sure. the different steps in it. But basically working, I have people look in the mirror of their face, work in their face, and then look at the front of their body as much as they can from the top down, and then look with a two-way mirror in the front and a, mirror, a, full, a full-length mirror in the back and a hand mirror in the front and try to look at the back and everything with this. It's hard to examine your own scalp unless you lost some hair like I have. You know, <laughs> a little harder for you. But, uh, but the bottom line is that... Um, you need to learn your skin. That's what really matters because then if something new pops up, you know it's new and it should be looked at. And not every new thing is bad. You know that. Yep. You were born with a lot of your moles. So therefore, uh, it's, not, uh, uh, it's not unusual to have new moles come out. The average American has 24 moles. I don't know who did bother doing that count, but somebody did it. And uh, so they're not all bad. But if you see a new one popping up, especially over the age of 40, you have to look and say, gee, is there, is there a problem with this? Or should I get to see my dermatologist and get a check? That's the easiest thing to do. You know, it really, I really hate it when somebody comes in and they say, yeah, I've had this spot for a year and I've just been too busy to come in. And you're looking at an advanced melanoma already. And you're looking really at a death sentence in most cases. And you, you just, you say, God, I wish they came in earlier. I wish we could have done that. And you just can't do that easily. So to me, the learning your own skin, that's the most important part of self-examination. So yeah, you know, you're so right. You're so right about this central message because when I tell my patients sometimes to do self-exam and some of the initial pushback was, I don't know what I'm looking at. I have so many, right? But I just basically tell them, get familiarized with your own skin, look for change, look for new lesions, look for something that you know have symptoms, pain, itching, bleeding. Right. And the bottom line is they are not trained to be a dermatologist they just basically serve as an extra pair of eyes. If they see something come into the physician's office early, get the melanoma picked off early, basically. I yeah. totally agree. I mean, that's the key to it. It's just, if you're suspicious of a spot, um, you know, get it looked at. I mean, what I was actually at the, uh, the British Open golf tournament this summer in Scotland. <laughs> I was amazed to see in Scotland that they're all over the tournament grounds there were big signs about wear sunscreen, protect yourself. And then they had a line on the bottom, which I hadn't seen before, which I really liked. When in doubt, check it out. Okay. Well, that's, I, a, that's a good, that's a really, really great service. You know? I have to give them credit for that. But uh, they had I would, at least 40 or 50 of these signs all around the tournament with sunscreen dispensers. There, This is in Scotland, right? And it turned out it was pretty sunny during the tournament, but it was, uh, it was, it was good to see that.